Uh, Craig, is it guaranteed that Amram is coming to Liverpool? Was the first question that caught my eye today. Is it guaranteed? Nothing in life's guaranteed till the ink's on the contract, but... I mean, it's it's moving along in the right direction. It's certainly all signs are pointing to it, but football is mad. Um, and I wouldn't say to you it's done until I know it's done. So I'm confident, I'm optimistic, but I'm not going to lie to you and say it's all done and dusted. I don't believe it is, but it is going in the right direction. Do you think Carvalho will have a place under Amaram? Yes, I absolutely do. Um, and I don't just say that off the top of my head. There's been multiple reports to say that he would indeed be brought back into the fold uh, under Ruben Amaram, and more so as well because, one, the Portuguese connection, of course, but two, uh, it's an area of the pitch that we will be utilising more under Amaram than we would have under Jurgen Klopp. Now, I did say we'd get into the main topic of tonight's stream, and that is, or this afternoon stream, and that is the players that apparently Ruben Amaram wants to bring with him to Liverpool Football Club. So, uh, Journal, who are a Portuguese outlet, have said Ruben Amorum, who has been approached by Liverpool and is discussing his details over the contract, wants to bring Gonzalo Inacio, Usman Diamande, and Morton Humland, or Hulmand, with him to Liverpool. Now, I won't lie, obviously I know who the two centre-backs are there, but I did have to look into Mr. Uh, Hulmand. And he's a defensive midfielder, 24 years of age. So, according to this report from Journal in Portugal, he's looking to bring two centre-backs and a holding midfielder with him to Liverpool, if indeed that deal goes through. And it kind of makes sense. I mean, I'm not so much sure about the holding midfield player, but certainly the two centre-backs would make sense. Uh, one plays left in his current system. Gonzalo Inacio plays left centre-back. Right centre-back is Diamande. And through the centre, they go with Sebastian Cuartes. So, again, not sure how much faith to put in that article, but it is uh, linking us to three sporting players. Uh, Craig, I heard Pedro Sebelveda talk on Sky about how Amram would want to buy players that he likes, not similar profiles found by Edwards or Hughes, even if we have to play a bit more for who he wants. I, what I would say to that, uh, Muse, is, is there's probably going to have to be some give and take there because, and I mean this with the greatest of respect to Ruben Amram, you're not going to walk into Liverpool Football Club on day one and start dictating transfer policy. You haven't earned that right yet. And I don't believe he should be given that power yet. I believe he should have a voice. He should have a role to play in the players that he would like to bring into his system. But ultimately... It is the job of Richard Hughes, um, less so in this new setup with Michael Edwards, but he will, he'll have a say in it, but he's to earn the right to have those definitive decisions. Jurgen Klopp earned that right over his time and results at the football club. So I understand the perspective on it, but I think, you know, a bit of give and take, a bit of compromise, certainly in the early days. Uh, Craig, should Nunes go, regardless of the stats, he's been terrible, you've seen it. No. Um, I, I, I'm not saying no to everything you've said. I'm just answering the should he go part. For me, no. Um, I could be deluded here. But I still swear that we will get a few years of this boy clicking and being incredible. Maybe I'm delusional. But you can see the raw pieces. You can see the ability. It's just getting that all together and making it work. Um whether it's his own thought processes. It's definitely not a confidence thing from what I can see. Um, he's 24, heading for 25. He's not into his prime yet as a striker. I definitely wouldn't be looking to sell him on, no. But I also don't know cert for certain how he will play in a new system. So that's another reason why I wouldn't sell yet. I think he deserves at least one season under the new manager to try and figure it out. And maybe the new manager can get what we're unable to get out of him now in consistency terms out of him. So I would give it a while is what I'm saying. Uh, Amram likes quick, fast players and I think Nunes will be a good fit. So yeah, looking in a little bit more last night when I was reading up on Ruben Amram, does play uh, more Pep Guardiola style of controlling football, but does have um, that Jurgen Klopp counter press from the front as well. So it'll take a bit of getting used to. But I'm definitely going to try and watch as much of sporting as I can between now and the end of the campaign to uh, figure out maybe what we can expect. Uh, Michael Kennedy, how are you, sir? Said, Craig, I don't know about you, 
But recently, I'm really excited about Ruben Armbrum. By the way, good luck with your shows. Uh, you'll smash it. You deserve it. Thank you so much, Michael. Uh, I'm really excited about it as well. You get past the initial fear <laughs> of Jürgen leaving. Um, but yeah, I'm, I'm excited by it. And I think it's it's a good appointment if Liverpool go through and get Ruben Amram signed up. You know, we were all a little bit disappointed when Alonso chose to stay at Leverkusen, but Amram was always the one after him that I'd said that I'd be happy with. So if it's Ruben Amram, yeah, I'm happy with that. We should all be eternally grateful that Klopp stayed and rebuilt the team. What an opportunity for Amram. Yeah, but it's still disappointing that he's um he's decided to move on. Um, it is still going to take some getting used to, but I understand his, his rationale. I can imagine it does take a lot out of you on a personal and emotional level to um to manage a club like Liverpool for as long as he has. Do you think Amaran will bring the best out of Darwin? Yes, I do. I do. But look, I'm not to say Klopp hasn't tried his best with Darwin, but I do believe, yes, we're getting in another very good man-manager in Ruben Amaran, just like we had with Jurgen Klopp. And yeah, I do think certainly the... um. The clarity of language will be a lot easier. Obviously, both of them speak in Portuguese. It will be a lot easier for Ruben Amram to communicate uh, maybe the finer points to Darwin. Right, I'm going to get back into more news, though, because the Ruben Amram situation has uh, moved along a little bit since we spoke earlier on. So there was lots of reports coming out of Portugal suggesting that Liverpool were at various levels of close to this deal. But uh, a report that came out earlier on that has been, I guess, liked by Florian Plettenberg as well, said new, and this is up on LFT Transfer Room's Twitter page, if you guys do, if you don't give LFT Transfer Room a follow, you should do, they're a great account. They say, Ruben Amram has told Sporting's president, Federico Verandas, that Liverpool's interest is there and that they should be looking for potential replacements. Meaning, he has told those at Sporting that he wants to leave and become the next Liverpool manager. Um... And again, it looks like this is inching towards coming to a conclusion. There are various things we'll go through today. Pedro Sepulveda has been speaking as well. And he said, financial terms are almost agreed between Liverpool and Ruben Amorum. Uh, credit in Anfield sector for that one, if you guys want to uh, check that out as well. So Pedro Sepulveda um, has said that financial terms are almost agreed between Liverpool and Ruben Amorum. It just looks like he's going to be the next manager at this point, folks. So uh, I'm delighted about it. I'm delighted about it because I'm. I think he's a great fit, and um, I'm looking forward to seeing what he can we can do with this group of Liverpool players, and of course what ones that he may look to bring in. Because earlier on we spoke about a story coming out of Portugal. Let me just get the notes here. That says du, du, du. here we go. Uh, again from Journal uh, No Cities or No Cities. Uh, they say, Ruben Amram, who's been approached by Liverpool and is discussing details over his contract, wants to bring three sporting players with him. Gonzalo Inacio, uh, Usman Diamande and Morten uh, uh, Hulmond. Uh, I don't know who Morten Hulmond is, but I did do a quick research earlier on and he's a defensive midfielder, 24 years of age. I think he's a Danish international. So it looks like there are three players that he would like to bring with him. Uh, two of them I know have bio clauses. I'm not sure about Morten Hulmond, but I do know Usman Diamande and Gonzalo Inacio have bio clauses of, I think, 60 million euro for Inacio and 70 million euro for Diamande. So, yeah, let's wait and see if there's truth to that. Um... You know, when Jurgen came in, we know we didn't go back to Dortmund and raid them for anybody. But maybe, uh, maybe Ruben Amram just feels like he'd like to bring some people with him to Liverpool. And, you know, let's wait and see how that pans out. Do you think we get the Ruben deal done? Uh, also, talk of Ruben going to Chelsea or Man United. Do you agree? Uh, so, um, he won't be going to Chelsea. You don't need to worry about that. Uh, nobody with half a brain cell would be going to United either at this moment in time. Ruben will be Liverpool's next manager. Uh, it's it's gonna you know it's moving closer and closer and closer, and it should be pretty evident at this point. So don't worry about that side of it. Um, Chelsea dropped out a while back, as did Barcelona for different reasons. Just ask yourself this: if you were a manager, taking aside your allegiance to Liverpool, and those three jobs were presented to you as opportunities. You're taking Liverpool job. You just are. Like, whatever way you look at it. Um, training facilities have been redone. The stadium's been improved. The squad's been refreshed. The academy products are delivering. Great supporters. 
you know, you're coming in to a successful team that doesn't need to be fully rebuilt and uh, hasn't lost the the support from the fans or, you know, it's, it's just a great opportunity for anybody. So, you know, don't undersell the club in your own mind. Liverpool is a huge, huge attraction. 